Today is pretty dramatic, actually. It's, it's quite eerie walking around on a lake, you know, it's a thousand feet deep where we're standing. And uh, we're walking on top of it and there's slushy water on the ice. So, you, you know, there's an inch, inch of water in, in a lot of places. So you can't help but feeling the, the thickness of the ice is starting to deteriorate. So we've got our safety guys keeping a close eye on that. But uh, it's just purely the temperature rise. We've got a nice warm wind. About seven the temperature. We're drilling the ice uh, about every half hour just to make sure that we're not losing any depth off the ice. The dragsters getting ready to come onto the ice, and that will join us yeah. there as well. Say, yeah. so we start okay. With two cars there, then dragsters. Yeah. It's only one car. Only There's one an car, car coming onto the ice over there as well. I'm paranoid about making the audience realise that it is an ice lake. So we've made all the moves in the chase ice orientated in other words they've got big spins and slides in them so we're, we're utilizing you know what the, what the ice can give us at a, a tarmac road can't so we've got you know, a couple of 180 degree turns in it lots of broad power slide sideways and again we've had all these cars built by the special effects who've done an incredible job they've built them all four-wheel drive purely for this so we've done some fantastic big long power slides with them and, and things like that and we had a helicopter here with the west cam on so we've had the chance to do some great aerial coverage of it as well and i think the, the ballet aspect of it all looks so great from the air you get a, a whole different view of it the two drivers Raider hahn and, and george coddle are absolutely brilliant i'm so impressed with them we did a, a shot yesterday where Raider hahn had to rear end the jag but obviously there's you know a few hundred thousand pounds into each of these cars we don't want to write them off we still have to get the shot for the movie so it's a very, very precision tap that George, that Ray had to give George on the rear quarter. So we had to nudge him, we had to have a contact, and his precision in hitting him and then backing off and letting George spin away was absolutely fantastic. But the thing they have to watch with on the ice, it's, it's great getting the slides and everything else, but if you do happen to dig into some of this snow, you could flip, you know, because it'll suddenly get traction, right, sliding sideways, and then you get one of these pressure ridges, which some of them can be three or four inches high. So it's like sliding sideways into a curb. It could flip you or certainly damage the car pretty severely. But it's so easy just to overcook it and just spin out. As it turned out, we were blessed with uh, just an unusually low temperatures that froze the ice just enough. The, uh, the guys are up there at the moment shooting and shooting fantastic stuff, unbelievable stuff. I've never seen anything like it. Um, just racing cars at top speed, backwards, upside down, firing rockets, living amongst the most spectacular terrain. Something about this stuff I've never seen before and I've become far more uh, enamoured of it. And um, it's not fair to say so, but sometimes you watch second unit stuff and it can become a bit, you know, it's just you watch everything. The second unit, the action units print everything. So you watch the same stuff over and over and over. And I have to watch it all, but it becomes a little tedious just watching this stuff. But this stuff I can't get enough of.